Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Bring it out. Woe to the rebellious children. 
children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Read it again, because we're going to give y'all the understanding of this. Read. Whoa! Whoa! Means destruction. So the most high God is saying destruction to a certain people. Read. To the rebellious children, Read. say of the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Now, our young youth today is a rebellious people. Right. They don't want to hear nothing nobody got to say. Bring it out. It's partially the old heads fault because they ain't been teaching the youth nothing. Bring it out. But our young youth are rebellious people. Right. That's why it's so much black on black crime, so much hatred. Read. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Now, when it's going into a covering, but not with God's covering, it's going into the covering of the BDs, the BG, the GDs. They want to follow all that covering. That's what they want to believe in. And that adds to the black on black crime. Right, right. That adds to the hatred in our community. Bring it out. Hey, brother, what's your name? Lance. I'm Maccabeus. Nice to meet you. You you from out here? Where you from? Schaumburg. All right. What's your question? What does God require of us? What does God require of us? Hey, so the brother wants to know what does God require of the Israelites? Because you know you're an Israelite, right? All day long. All day long. Okay, all praises. So God requires something of the Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So we're going to find out what the Most High God requires of us. Because we like to read the Bible and let God do the speaking. Read, out. read the Bible. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. Did you hear that bro? I got another question. Hold up bro. Okay, we can't right. just blow past that like that. You gonna ask this question and I'm gonna give you the understanding of it because if you know Israel, and you know what's required of you, there are certain things you should be doing, right? Sorry. How long you been knowing you Israel? All my life, man. Well, then you should be over here with us. Right. right. Well, I, I, go, I go to a church, a Baptist church, out, out where I stay. I, I, I be at church every Sunday. So, is Sunday the Sabbath? No, Saturday is the Sabbath. So, why are you at that church? So do you teach them this though? Man, I'm be honest with you. Be honest with you. My children. Give me a Romans 10 and 25. I'll be honest with you. There's so much going on with these kids in the game, man. When I try, when I, when I, I always, I always have to understand it. But, when, when my kids were coming up, I was, I was out here, man. I was doing it. Hey, we all was out here at one point in time. Hey, sis, why don't you come on over here and dialogue with us too, sis, so you can get some understanding of who you are according to the Bible. You know who you are? You, you know you Israel? You know your daughter Sarah, princess there, right? All praises. Do you congregate? It's, what tribe are you from? Yeah. Right. See what I'm saying? Stop playing with these people, man. All right, bro. You say you moved all the way out to Schaumburg, but you're out here today, right? I work, I'm working. Now, there's some, like you asked, you wanted to know what's required of us, right? Read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 25. Read it out. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching did you hear that bro 
Do you understand what that's talking about? Read it again. Not forsaking the assembling. So we're not supposed to forsake assembling. That means us coming together. So you know this is the book of the commandment of God, right? Bring it out. Everything in here is a commandment. It's not something that's suggested to us or uh, maybe you should do. It's if you want, if you if you know you're a son of God and you know that you're supposed to be doing His will, you're supposed to be keeping every commandment in here to the best of your ability. Now we got a school on the west side of Chicago. Read. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. See that? Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. That means we congregate. That's right. We come together on the Sabbath day. Bring it out. That's when we worship the Most High. We don't go to no church on Sundays and worship the sun god. That's right. right. Come on, man. That's another god. You know that, right? right. And what, what's uh, the Ten Commandments? What do he say? What do he say, bro? What does he say? I can't remember right the top of my head. Right read, read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have what? Thou shalt, thou shalt have no other gods before me. So you going to church on Sunday, you worshiping another god, brother. Right, right. You know you Israel, now you forsaking him. And you know our God's a jealous God, right? Now there's other laws too. You know about the other laws? See, that's why you got to congregate. Because when you congregate, you're going to learn these things. And, and, and us brothers, we're going to make sure you're walking upright. That's right. You know what tribe you're from? Look over here on this side. Look over here on this side. Tell me what tribe you're from. Tribe of Israel. No, it's 12 tribes. We, we from the nation of Israel, but we are all from a certain tribe, depending on what your father is. Since you see yourself over here on this side, What's your name, sis? Trina. I can't hear you. It's Trina. Trina? Trina and Lance. All right. We're going to learn who we are today. That's right. What, what's your father, Lance? My father. Honestly, my father never even looked at you. No. What's his nationality? What does he call himself? He, he, he calls him a black man. Oh, so uh, African American, American black then. So then you will be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Trina, what's your father? I am black. I said from the tribe of Judah. I, that's why I say so-called black. Because ain't nothing black, because my pants is black. My boots is black. I'm black. That's right. Different shades of the earth. That's what we are. What you say your father is? I'm black. black. What's your father, though? What's his father? He's black. He's black. Okay. Get that in numbers. Because we, society likes to say, to, to, to confuse us by saying you're black and Puerto Rican. To divide us. To put a division between us. Now God says we are what our father is. But again, we're going to read the Bible. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Get out. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. Y'all hear that? Lance, what's a pedigree? I can't Trina, you know? I mean, you know, just look at it this way. Dogs. You got certain pedigrees, right? Yeah. So when you talk about your pedigree, you pretty much talk about your lineage, your bloodline. Yeah. That's right. So read that again. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees, their bloodline, after their families by the house of their father. By the house of their father. The reason they do that is, is the man is the one who plants the seed. Right? The, the, the woman, she carries the baby, but the man plants the seed. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever your grandfather is, that's what you are. So you are, your grandfather just said black, right? So then you'd be from the tribe of Judah. That's, that's right. right. So both of y'all would be from the tribe of Judah. Christ also came from that tribe. So that means that Christ, you know Christ the black man, right? All right. Now look, since we have brought out what's required of us, 
and uh, what's required of us is keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, right? So do you know some of his laws? Because you've been going to church on a Sunday, man. That, that, you, that's confusing to yourself. Because you know the Sabbath is when? Saturday. Exactly, the seventh day of the week. The week start on Sunday. The week start on Monday. Yes, Sunday, you're correct. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We congregate on Saturday. That's right. We have a, we have a school up on, on the west side on Division. You got, you got our flyer, right? Our address, our phone number, everything is on there, sis. But there's some things that we got to address. Because we out here to, to change the minds of our people, right? So in order to change the minds of our people, we have to come back to the Bible. We have to come back to what God says do. Not what man say do, right? All right? So uh, give me numbers first. We're going to get some fringes. Oh, I don't want to be in front of y'all. Yeah. Because fringes is a very important thing, and it's a it's a heavy reason why we wear them. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon to you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So a fringe is right here. These are fringes and upon it is a border of blue. Right. Now the reason we are to wear these, read it again. The second part. Speak unto the children of Israel. Now he says speak to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God says, speak to you, read, right. and bid them. Now, when he says bid, again, he's commanding, not suggesting, not saying think about it, but saying do, read, that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. As you can see, it's in the border of his garment, right? So we are supposed to have these, men and women, read, right. throughout their generations. So he says throughout their generation. How long is throughout their generations, Lance? From the beginning to the end. Forever. Yes. You understand that, Trina? Throughout your generation is forever, read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it. Now he says, the importance of this fringe is that, is that you may look upon it. Because you know what I'm saying, this society is wicked as hell. It's wicked and it's full of temptation. The most high God knew that. That's why I said, look upon it, read. And remember all the commandments. Some of them. All the commandments. Just a couple of them. All the commandments. So we have to remember all the commandments. There's a lot of commandments, like 633 of them. 633. We are to remember all his commandments, read. Of the Lord. And do them. He screamed black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.